Hello there. Oh, we got another game? Oh, we do got another game. Oh, yeah. It's UMass Amherst versus Raw Reapers. And you know, I can waste some time getting introduction, but let's get right into the pick ban. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right into the pick ban. Right and, in uh, Look at uh, that UMass logo little, uh, again. A little, 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 little uh, UI assist here. I cannot see the bands. Uh, can yeah, just close that? that shit. Sorry, we got something. You can close that. Unless you want it. You can close There it. we go. That's fine. I don't need to see our faces. Perfect. Ezreal, Aurelia, and uh, Little Milio. No action there. And uh, the, yeah, Pike, Graves, and Fiddlestick Bands. And a first pick, Karthus? That's... That would be shocking. Well, lock it. And I want to see it. Pick that. I would love to. I would love to see the Karthus. I would love to see the Karthus. What's that say? Saw Karthus, man. In a game like this, in, in SLS, I've not seen a Karthus. And we're gonna see it tonight, baby. Karthus, build some items, press R, do big damage, wipe an entire team by yourself. That is the Karthus special. Picking up the first, you know, a lot of question marks. Is that going mid? Is that going bot? Is that going jungle? Is that going top? Probably bought a jungle, but we'll see. Anyway. The Caitlyn pick coming in. You know, oh, you pick Karthus? I'm just going to poke you from a mile away. If you come bot, don't bring that down bot. You're going to get wrecked, <laughs> <Yeah>. kid. <laughs> and we saw the Caitlyn do some big work last game. You know, a lane bully got extremely fed, extremely far ahead. Probably going to see that this game as well. Probably going to pair it with her support here. You know, poke supports, engage supports. Everything goes well with Caitlyn. Is Morgana bad now? I feel like... I, Morgana's not very... Not played that much. I feel her synergy with Caitlyn is very good. Right. It's very good. It's like a it's like a Lux. You get yeah, spell exactly. Shield. It's crazy. The team but, fight. Hey, Joshi! That's what I like to I see, to see right that. there. I'd like to see. You know, a two point five second snare. You know, can't go wrong. Strong as fuck with the it, spell shield. I mean, hopefully, um, these guys pick something that makes a spell shield worth it for, um, for Raw Reapers. We've lost. Oh, it's back. back. Okay. Um, we're back in it and uh, an MF pick. It looks like the Karthus will be jungle if that MF pick gets locked in Though we have seen MF support in the past probably gonna be AD though uh, Gonna be picking that for the Caitlyn a really strong early game champ can counter Caitlyn's push a lot Not going to be too threatened by it, but that the kill pressure in a Caitlyn Morgana lane is still definitely present 100% It's gonna be I mean, what do they want? I don't know what they want exactly that, oh, hard engage, you know. See, the thing about Nautilus is, even through a Morgana spell shield, the Q will still pull you towards the champion. Oh, okay. So even if the spell shield hits, you will go closer. So you can still have a chance to get some damage down, get in engage range, throw a Q on the spell shield of target, you flash, uh, snare the other target with your auto attack. Yeah. And uh, and a Kali pick up here. Interesting if they lock this one. It looks like they did. Yeah, the Akali pick up. They're going to pick that blind into the mid lane. It'd be very shocked to see Karthus go mid, though it wouldn't be completely out of the question. Probably a jungle pick. Right. And a Talon ban in response, you know, getting rid of Akali counters. Talon, definitely an Akali counter, has a ton of damage in lane, can really bully an Akali out. I'm thinking about something too. So, MFE does magic damage. Yes. Right? Plus, Nautilus. His E does this amount of damage with auto attack. Yeah, and damage. I see what you're saying. Like, the Morgana shield is that going to be enough to bad. burst through the Morgana That's shield? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that might might be pretty solid. It might be a lane where you max the Morgana shield. Not a lot of Morganas will do that though. Right. They'll you go for the Q max. Sometimes even a W max if you want to get like a really a big lane push. But usually on support you don't see that. Hmm. Um, actually, no, a decent amount of Morganas will go E max. And in this matchup, I wouldn't be too surprised to see that. Mundo ban as well. Getting rid of a top lane uh, juggernaut right there. Just off the table. Zach, what is wrong with the monitor, dude? It keeps cutting out. <laughs> what did you do? Is it full screen? Or yeah, no, the monitor keeps cutting. It's like a display port problem. It might What's going be, on? If you're, if you're uh, not in borderless it, or something, I don't know. It, it, it is like, like it is glitch. It's like glitching the same way my monitor did. It's like not enough bandwidth. Well, I see something wrong with it. The monitor keeps getting cut. And f fine, I can't see anything, man. It keeps getting cut out. Uh -uh. Just cut, the, cut the stream. I think it's breaking it. <laughs> I, I, well, are you looking at the same screen I am, you little monkey? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's flashing. It's fat. I'm gonna have a Help. epileptic seizure Help. out here. I'm gonna develop epilepsy just to prove a Who point. Who is this? Who's gonna lock? Oh. Ooh, the cane. The young cane. Dude. I do like seeing a little cane action. Red, blue, time will tell. But two range so far, probably a decent chance we're going to see a blue cane. I love seeing a blue cane. That champion's so fast. 
big burst damage. Red Kane's cool too, but you know, not as cool as Blue Kane. Blue Kane, like, I'm just gonna kill you. Like, the display keeps getting killed for me. Zach! I know what's going on. Turn off the stream. It's overloading it. Mundo turn ban. No, no, no. Turn. Ergot yeah, locking. Damn. There we go. Ergot's locked in. This guy laughs. He's He's getting me with that. There, oh, oh wow. What do you know? What do you know? The, the TV is fixed. I can see everything again. Wow. That's crazy. Still flash. No, it's not. I saw it. I just You're saw it. You're high Oh you god, you're right. Is. Zach, I don't know what you did, but it's fucked. <laughs> we see the Urgot and Oriana. Those are rare picks. Same with a cane. I mean, I I don't I want to see what's going to happen. You know, I kind of like here. it, you know. You got some decent cool. engage. The Urgot a very very safe pick oh. in that lane for sure. Oh, nope. Any lane Urgot's going to do very well. And against Orn, he's probably going to have a decent time as well. Yeah, Though bad, Orn, right? man, does that champion ever lose lane? He has build sure. items in lane. <laughs> right. You have a ton of base damage, good burst. You can combo Kill people as a full tank, build full tank, and you still die. Uh, both teams, though, very, very strong. Two assassins on the side of Vegan Chicken. Is it Vegan Chicken? Wait, are... well, that should be Raw Reapers. Raw actually. Reapers, yeah. Well, two assassins. I kind of like to see that. It's gonna be very difficult for MF2 to survive, but we're gonna have Oriana engages. Not into an Oriana engage. Pretty darn good. Urgot as well to pick off like a straggler, you know, get that ultimate in, kill somebody, execute them, get that oh, fear no. coming in. I just want to see the Nautilus dive yeah. with the Ori shock. That would be nice, yeah. Oh, that would be God. very nice. And then, you know, pretty close fight. We're not sure who's going to win. Uh-oh, here comes Requiem. True. Big old Carthus on top Too of everything. Just... Dark Harvest too. Oh, yes. Clapping those cheeks. That's what little Carthus is going to do this game. We want to see it, and I can't wait to see it. Here we are loading into the Rift. War Reapers versus UMass Amherst. Who comes out on top? Only time will tell. If I had to pick a team comp right now, I got to say, I think I'm liking what War Reapers has going down right here. You know, I always love an Orn pick. Always good. Two assassins can pick off the Oriana and the MF. And an aggressive level one. We saw how well it went for the team last time. Nautilus is going to get caught out a little bit, but it's going to be... All for nothing. It has walked out without much problem at all. Mm. Let's get some early wards down. A double ward, probably not the most efficient use of their wards right there. But <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but, you know, we have definitely seen worse. Like a triple ward in the same bush. <laughs> so what is going on over oh. there? <laughs> so what I'm really interested in here... Who would win the mid lane? You know, I mean, Orion's got the range. Akali didn't do too much for a little bit. Maybe level three should get some trade damage going on. Uh, maybe Christian Kirk can give me a touchdown. You know, all these different things. All these different questions. Um, Morgana Shield. Actually, Morgana's at half health. I don't know what's going on down there. Both of them, actually, the whole lane is kind of hurt right now. So, what's going on? Yeah, a little bit of early trade action going down, it looks like. But the Caitlyn looks like she's going to get the last laugh on that. The Q lands, though. Caitlyn in trouble. The snare lands on top of it. Some good traded damage, you know. that Everyone's just trading as hard as they can down there. Both sides looking to get as much damage down as they can. But the double range matchup is going to come out on top at the end. Pushing this wave in. Oh. Another bind goes. It doesn't quite hit. Back to the mid lane here. Akali has a bit of a disadvantage early game against Oriana, but when she gets those items, she has the potential to get a really good all-in on top of her. Oh, God, top, you know, I want to say Urgot's favorite, but you know, Orn just doesn't lose lane. Oh, no. oh. he got slapped oh, with the ball. God, the whole, look at that. That's his own teammate. <laughs> he going for a fair catch. His own oh, teammate. Shit. Oh no. Oh, so this is what I was wondering about this early game, Akali versus Ori. It's such crucial timing for the R uh, oh. Akali. Poor Nautilus, look how much damage he's taking. Under his own tower, man. Let that man be. Can you tell if this is directed camera, dude? <laughs> no, it's not directed camera. That's oh, not you don't true. Think so? No, no. This, is, this, is, this is precision controlled by our master technician. Oh, she's, she's dead. She's this dead. Ari is precision controlling right now, but she's almost, she's too low. The damage is huge. But we go down to bot lane here because there's a fight going on oh, as well. Oh, flash. no! The spell shield. He let, she lets her support die. The flash comes out, though. The damage there. MF, one more attack will do, but we go back mid because there's a fight going on there. And 
Oriana is going to get the kill. Oh, the first blood goal of Oriana, but top lane is another fight. The jungle is about to die. The Karthus dies in uh, the lane. He was ganking, oh my but God. Oh Urgot my will God. pick up that kill. Oh, I don't even know what happened, man. Three kills are picked up. Two go on top. One goes in mid. Bot lane, somehow everyone lives, and the camera's a genius. It's predicted everything. I can't believe it. I mean, there's got to be something new going on there. Um, so that's pretty solid. I actually, I wish I could see the score at the moment, but that would be yeah, that would have been nice. That would be the only thing. Yeah, you know, uh, Orn two v one picks up that kill. He got hello. Okay, so he did get a kill. That's pretty good. That's we like to see that. Okay, okay, okay. Or picks up a kill. The Urgot also picks up a kill. We do awesome. like to see that. And then Ori got the solo kill. Yeah, Ori got the solo kill. Okay. You know, really close by the Akali. Almost got that first blood, but that 400 gold was going Ori's way. And she gets the Dark Seal. A bit of an ego pick right there. But it'll pay off. She can stay safe. And against this team, I think she can. You know, play at range a little bit. Oh my god, Akali's... Uh, I mean, she's hurt. She's dead. Oh, she's done. She has no She's flash. done. She's walking into too many people. But she oh, has the e, e over the right, wall. The e. And that's going to be enough. Cage here also oh. to help her out. Top lane, huge damage. Urgot going to be getting that down, but still has to be careful. Orn with all his abilities can still 100 to 0 anyone in the game. And if you're that low health, you cannot be safe against Orn. The Q lands, though. Damage is huge. It was a good clip. It was a good clip. I remember that was a good clip. That one's kind of crazy. Was good. All right, the wave crashing in. Orn, Orn trying his hardest to farm under the tower here. He's gonna be doing his very best. The gang comes in, the hook lands on the non-spell shield to target. Oh, the Morgana is certainly going to fall. A kill going on the card, but that is not good news if you are Raw Reapers. Uh, it's not, also not good news if your logo can't be properly displayed on the screen. That would also be tragic. Oh, you know, Vegan Chicken getting the credit for all of these beautiful kills. Oh, Akali. And another one coming in Kane. top lane here. Kane getting that damage in. Flash. Getting even closer to his form. Has the first strike, so you know he's going for that blue Kane. Orgot's considered a range. He is. Okay. He is. He gets you get range points for that. And he's going to be stacking that one up. Both junglers getting into the action early on. Karthus, though, don't give that man kills, man. Don't give that man kills. Mm -hmm. You know what he's going to do? He's going to press ult. Going to have three items. Boom. You're going to get that rabbit on. Get that void stab. Boom. Boom. Dead. You're done, dude. This, then this dragon is done. Dude. There it goes. There it goes. Right over to the Karthus. Yeah. Right over to the Karthus there. Little Karthus gets that one. He is in the drivers. He's loving where he's at right now. Uh, bot lane, Caitlyn has a little bit of an advantage. Um, the assist is over on the MF, so that goal is equalized a little bit. But, you know, the range advantage, uh, Caitlyn will outrange an MF early on in the game. We'll have the early push. Uh, Urgot versus Orn right now. Um, the Orn not looking too good, but at the end of the day, it's still an Orn. He's still basically in the game. You cannot count him out. Urgot going to let this wave crash, farm up all these minions. He is chilling. He is doing just fine. Caitlyn going to reset here. Get a decent buy off. Nautilus coming on over. Helping out his AD carry. Push this wave out. They clear the ward. Going to crash this wave in. I'm going to see if they can get a freeze on the other side. Little Karthus farming a little camp here. Morgana trying to screw around with him. But backs off. Doesn't have enough vision. Enough resources to know what to do with that. Top lane, we chilling. We chilling. Both sides decide, you know what? Let's just farm some minions. It's that easy. It's that easy. Honestly, that's half the game, farming the minions. Oh, my God. <laughs> if only he was a bound, Benny caught that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. No, do you see that? No, oh I'll see the replay. God. Dude, watch this catch. Watch this catch. Damn. Oh, the hand. Oh, man. It was so close, dude. That guy's cut. I mean, what's going on in this game right now? A whole lot of nothing. We see Karthus pathing down bot. Maybe yeah, you want something yeah, a bit, of, bit of a problem going on in the bot lane here. Hopefully, the uh, directed camera goes down there, and they will. Here comes... Oh, the Nautilus hits the terrain, but flashes. Gets his auto attack down. The spell shield comes in. Karthus is going to be coming in doing some massive damage. But here comes the Kane. Going to be doing some damage in response. The Morgana oh, will fall, though. God. Huge damage coming in. 
MF almost certainly going to be picking up this triple here. The ultimate goes on to the Nautilus. Is it going to be enough? The damage comes in. The proc is, is going to be enough. Oh, a double kill. Oh, Who's going to get the triple? Oh, it's going to go oh. over to MF. There picking that one up. Three kills for MF. Absolutely massive. But... Kane is going to love that one as well, you know, even close to his form, even closer to snowballing, and a huge play by Morgana, showing why she built that Dark Seal, just styling on Akali right now. It's not even close for Raw Reapers. Not even close. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It's Glacial Valkyrie versus Vegan Chicken. Oh, Jesus because Christ. our producer doesn't care about quality. <laughs> Gosh. Everyone's rolling tonight. Everyone's dude, it's rolling. crazy, dude. Our whole team is trolling except the Yeah, what's crazy is the producer is doing just a barely more trolling than he normally does. The dude has rocks for brains. <laughs> what's going on, Zach? You still have vegan chicken versus glacial Valkyrie on the screen, you numb nuts? Yeah, no ah, shit. Ah, the fucking screen, you dipshit! <laughs> If we have a montage of whatever Pat gets angry, I think the montage would be longer. We'll go viral. The montage would be longer than the game. Oh, my God. Oh, she gets out of that with the flash. A little weird flash, but she gets out regardless. Yeah, but here comes Kane. Oh, we're going to have bot lane because there's a fun going on there. Oh, it actually is a solo kill. Oh, my God. The shutdown going over. Caitlyn picking up a ton of gold there. And once again, directed camera knows where to go. Uh, raw reapers for the other one. Not vegan. Oh chickens. wow! Look at that. We caught an update. Ask and one, you shall receive. One of two. Orn doing some damage to the old crab. Dude, we're not careful. People are gonna figure out this is just a money laundering front. Oh my god. <laughs> In game, by the way. In game. <laughs> Oh, speaking of in-game, in-game, a shutdown goes over to the Kane, picking up the kill onto the Oriana. Blue Kane is here, and he's running the rift. But here comes the cards, though. The damage is huge, but the heal from the E of the Kane is going to be enough to keep him alive. Card is not picking up anything with the ultimate. And Kane, 4-1. and one. This man is a problem on the rift. And, you know, the rift tail going to be taken here. Orn has something to say about that. He's coming over, taking a peek. The... Harvest is very low. Here comes the Orn ultimate. Oh, the CC is there. He can't connect the second part of the ultimate and executed. Urgot finishing that one off. Here comes the rest of the team, though, fighting in the pit. Morgana trying to scare him off, and that looks like Morgana will be enough by herself. But Akali on the flank. Get the Q off. Almost certainly going to be killing him off, and Karthus will die. One for one so far. The Rift claiming two lives. And yeah, dude, this game is close. You know, at both teams are like within 200 gold of each other. Trade and blows left and right. Uh, Dragon gonna go over there to the side of War Reapers because we can't have both of them proper. My God, why aren't you at the computer, you fucking worthless piece of shit? Fix the UI. Good Lord. <laughs> What are you doing, huh? <laughs> the wrong team is up there! God damn! No, it's not. That's on Abe. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Yeah, 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 alright. What, what, uh, what team's up there? Dude does half the work and starts fingering himself on cam in game, by the way. There we go. I fixed it. Thank you. I'm doing Zach's job and camera There we guy. go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, and camera guy. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I've ever seen that logo before. <laughs> it's almost like it never gets updated. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but back to gameplay. In-game, by the way. That was all in-game, by the way. No actual threats were made. It was all in-game. Speed of in-game. Uh, Oriana getting some big damage in-game, by the oh, way. Oh, the oh. ultimate lands. Nah, and there nah. goes! Display. I can't see anything! Woohoo! Awesome, man. This fucking Mickey Mouse production, dude. Jesus Christ. Put a cactus up my ass and call me Johnny Sins. Good lord! I can't work in these conditions!
leaking. I'm leaking from every orifice. All right. Oh, wow. Is it working? <laughs> wow, we're back in game. You know, I, at the end of the day, all that drama happens. We're only 100 gold separating. It's anyone's game. That's all it comes down to, you know, what ends up happening at the end of the day. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, and we see young Caitlyn getting hurt a little bit, but a counter by the McGuire. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Big so bada I... boom, bada bop, bop, bam. But the ultimate comes from MF. Going to scare them off. Caitlyn's going to die. Karth is going to be picking that one up, but the damage is oh, huge. The Karth still comes in. Oh, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, a little bit of a, little bit of a, little bit of a time leap there. Hello, Echo. But here comes the Kali. Coming trying to finish this fight off. Picks up the kill onto the Oriana. Picks up another kill onto the MF. There's just Nautilus. Can he run to his tower? I think he can. He's going to be getting out of that. But huge fight down bot. Like, and this game is still neck and neck. Both teams getting some kills. Getting back into this one. The Kane does fall. Gets over a shutdown. But the Kali goes over there. Mops him up. Gets two kills for herself. Stacking her Dark Seal. And that Dark Seal buy for Oriana not looking too good. You know, she's losing her stacks. Oriana's only, I mean, a colleague's only gaining her stacks. It's going to be a problem at some point in this game. Absolutely. Ori got seven. Um, I mean, that's more than Ori's got at this point, right? So we see MF coming out with a kill. I think someone else got a kill there. I know Morgana died and someone else died. Sorry, a lot going on over here. But, guys, I mean, this is another game. We are another game. 15 minutes into the game. Two dragons dead, one to each side. Equal gold, nearly. Um, two kill difference. That, oh, but not, what's not equal is this the amount of champions in the mid lane here. Nautilus going for that, but here is the Kane on the side. Can be too looking to pick that one up. Nautilus, though, lands a beautiful kill, and that's going to be enough to be picking up that kill. The Kane will fall. The Akali and Morgana trying to salvage what they can, but oh, the Q goes wide from the Nautilus, but that's almost going to be enough to keep Oriana alive. I mean, the Morgana, but Oriana will pick that one up. The Akali. Going low as well. Going to use the shroud. Going to get out of there. Caitlyn getting a little overconfident. Goes under the tower. And that's going to be a trade kill. Not what you want to look for right there. But a kill nonetheless. Caitlyn going to be loving that. But another serrated dirt comes in for more uh, for uh, misfortune. We don't want to see that. Wow. Caitlyn got a fuckload of damage right there. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's how you take three tower Jesus. shots. You're going to die. I just mean, she did a bunch to MF. That was a huge oh. burst. Very confident in her damage there. We see Orn uh, whiffing the alts, but I think he'll get out all right. Assuming he wants to get out at all. Oh, um, boom. Gone. Urgot, done. Same with this guy. Gone. Oriana, bye-bye. Wow. Dude, it's a Kali's turn. Raw Reaper is about to run this game, but an ultimate comes in from the Nautilus. They want to pick a fight, even though two people are dead. They like their chances. Karthus doing some damage onto this Raptor camp, but it's not against champions. That dragon, Infernal, first one on the game... First Infernal of the game going over to Rar Reaper. Gonna love to stack that. Get that Soul Dragon for themselves. They're in control. Speaking of in control, oh, this Akali is just going to bulldoze the Karthus. And Akali is a problem right now. It's not looking too good. Yeah, she's doing some work after that. A little bit tough early um, early landing phase for, against Oriana. Oh, you know, it's to, to be expected, honestly. We see Kane pick up the second dragon for Rar Reapers there. Third overall. A slight gold lead from him over the Karth is 1.4k. Not too bad. Otherwise, pretty equal except for bot lane. Kate's got a, about a thousand over uh, MF there. So still a very equal game. Um, yeah, it's really the only gold difference really is uh, from that Kane and the Caitlyn. So they're working on it. Um, I mean, what do we got going on here? What's going on? So. No tower bot lane for UMass. Yeah, it's not very no good. No mid tower. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. Oh, I don't Akali know about that. Pick, fighting off a little more chicken chew. You know, the ultimate comes in from the Oriana. Whoa! <laughs> she dashing all crazy. You ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to do all that. You're going to walk out of there. I styled on you. I got you scared. Speaking of scared, uh, Kane, not very scared of a little MF. Going to run her over. Or has them up against the wall. Is it going to be enough? Goes for the Q. Goes for the knock. Doesn't need the knock up. Everyone's just going to die. But the damage is still there. Karth is coming in. Big ultimate on top. And uh, they're super low. Here comes the rest of the team. Yeah. Kurgot, get the old 
kill, gets the fear, a double kill coming over. And just like that, you just don't know what team's winning, man. It's back and forth. UMass still within 2K gold, and it, this game is anyone's at this point. Seriously, we got a pretty good game going up once again. We saw game one a good-ass time, and we here at the SLS love to bring you the good games happening again. Oh, my God, a colleague getting hurt. Oh, my God, Kane's getting hurt. Or gosh, doing some crazy shit right now. This guy's doing some damage. Uh, really has no business doing all that damage, but he's doing anything. He says, I don't give a shit. I'm crab gods. Giant right. enemy crab, dude. Yeah, he's crazy, dude. That, that little bird got, man. Oh, my goodness. What do you think he smells like? Oh, uh, no. that, like Just that kind of like masculine energy. Like, yeah, you know, I'd, one night I'd, I'd put up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, if he said, I want it, who am I to say no? It might be the strongest onions I've ever smelled from that bird guy. I know. But in like a way where it's like, you know... You know, I'm okay with you taking the lead. I mean, I like eating onions. So. I do. I, I I love raw onions, cooked onions, sauteed, you know, caramelized onions. Oh, oh give me those. Started. Fried onions. Now we're talking. Oh. Uh, but I don't think Donald's is talking right now. He's done. Oh, but Akali whoa, wants it all. Whoa. Just smiling on people. The Q lands. The ultimate from the MF, but he dodged that and uh -oh. that. Here comes the damage. The tower dive is there. Gets out of their car, they're not going to pick that one up, oh but another God, kill goes over. Crazy. Will she get out? No, she won't. The Q will land. The Orn is going to escape, though, and man, these fights are just too chaotic to cast. One for two. War Reaper is coming through with the advantage again. And, what, dude, this game, when did this game become less than a thousand gold separating, man? I tell you, you, you look away for two seconds, and it just gets even crazier. Being crazy, Urgot not looking too hot here. Oh, my God, the crit! Headshot crit by the Caitlyn. That's enough. That Urgot is confused, man. Sweet I didn't Jesus. think that was killing. Oh. Holy smokes. That's a lot of damage onto that squishy that guy. Is that's a crap ton of damage. That doesn't even make sense. How did that happen? That was a lot of damage. Good job, Caitlyn. Good job. I'm going to see you later tonight, Caitlyn. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In game, by the way. <laughs> Say anything in the world in game. In you're, game, you're yeah, that you're safe. That's what Dante's taught me. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. I got uh, four points from this guy. That's great. Four points. Four points. That's not bad. No, it's horrible. Where's the meat? What, what do I got from a little right lave? I, I bet you I'm worse. I bet you I'm worse. What? What? What's the lave got me? Well, Chris, the lave's got me three point seven. See? Grass ain't always green, boy. Oh, uh, they gotta do something. I need points, dude. 0-6 oh, in three weeks right now. It's crazy. Back to back to back. 0-2. Oh, oh, back to back to back to back It's tough. It's not good. I'm it's not good. Oh, speaking of not good. Oh, <laughs> the Q almost lands. Donald Silva's picking up a nice little snack for himself. Look how fast that little cane child is. So fast. Running around the map all crazy. He knows that he has the power. The ultimate lands. The knockup from the orange just barely not hitting. And just going to take that flash. Run with it. They like the summoner's full advantage. They got. I'm going to push this one out. Infernal Dragon coming up. They're going to want to stack that advantage for them. Ooh, gain. Flirting a little bit there. Throw a little W saying, hey, how's it going? And then gets on out of it. You know, a little tease. It's always a little tease. But speaking of tease, oh my god, that damage is absolutely huge. Spell immune. Not only stock to knock anyone up, it is going to die. The MF deterring the team. But Kane still going in. The rest of the team following him up. And this fight is going to be a massacre. But here comes the cards. Oh, One, three, two, right? or three dead. And that's oh, going to be a triple kill. card that presses shit. R and wins the entire game. Morgana going to have to run for her life. And there you go. The Karthus, the grand equalizer. Woo! Another kill. Oriana wants it. Give me those stacks. Give me those stacks right now, you little mother. And we go back to Niles, but back to the fight. And boom, East Ash is going to be picking that one up. <laughs> little Ur got child and a huge fight. You match showing all you got to do is press R, baby girl. That's all you got to do. That's it. Ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing but a thing, man. Just press R. Carthus died eight times. Doesn't matter. I press R every time. It was clean, too. I mean, they were low. They were, were all nice, low, nice dude. Triple. He has the Leandries. He has the mass, dude. It is just too much, man. How, how do you live? How do you live? It's just too much. But the TP comes in. Uh -huh. They always say the welcome. It's Horn, baby. He's big. He's angry. And he's horny. He's going in. But he's going right <laughs> back out. He Wait a minute. Funny. He bit off a little more than he can chew. And he's gone. No. It's Urgot that's gone. And Horn is going to live. Just imprinting his. Oh, wait. Who died? What the hell happened? 
I Who was think, that? Uh, Little Kane picks up a, fi a kill. The All right, cool. It's a one for one. Killed the old Karthus down there. there. Yeah, it's not Oh, no, no, no. Wait, it's a two for all. Oh, wait a second. What the heck happened? Little Orange Child just, just bred them, man. Just as... Seven in the morning. <laughs> they were not just expecting that. Impregnated them. That was, that was too nice of them. Now, third, uh, third dragon for Raw Reapers. I mean, they're on their way. They are ready to go. They want that soul in five minutes. Um, will you mass let him get it? That's the question. Akali's trying to do something. What's wrong with this cast? Yeah, I agree. It's <laughs> <laughs> a question right now. Oh, wow. Akali's doing some work around there. Oh, the Nautilus is going to maybe grab her. She must die here. Yep, there she goes. There it is. Oriana ends up picking up the kill like she wanted. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yep. No matter how much footwork you got, um, you know, you can't escape that Nautilus ult. Dude, what's that? Oh, it looks like the teams are converging a little. Oh, my goodness. Just a little bit. That is so much damage. Oh, my God. That gone. That is ridiculous. Kane coming in over the top. Going to be picking up that kill without any problem whatsoever. Get that nice little W down. You know, Karth's going to have to be careful. That that Kane is huge. He can kill anyone on the map right now. But a fight breaks off over here. Urgot going to be trying to pick up a kill there. The fights are going both ways. Orn in the back line. Gets the massive knockup going over there. The Caitlyn... Free hitting on the back line. The Nautilus is going to fall. This fight is going absolutely horribly. Double kill for the Caitlyn. The TP coming in as well. They got to run for their lives. Here comes the Karthus. Oh, can pick up one, maybe two. One kill goes over. The Morgana will fall, but this fight is not looking too good. The Akali looks for another kill, but Urgot getting some massive damage back. Looking to go back into this fight. Orn trying to get the knockup. Just barely misses. Oh, it's so close, and he wow, will fall. Bro. The Urgot does fall. At the end of the day, that's a, what, four for one? Jesus four Christ. for one. Everyone falling. And look at that. It stays a little bit stop. too long. Ooh. The MF picks up some kills there. Stay just overstaying there. Welcome. And can't get over to block that in time. Caitlin equalizes it at the end of the day. And gold wise, 4K gold lead right now for Raw Reapers. They're back into this. Jeez, Caitlin just going back and forth. A shitload of gold over MF now, nearly. Well, uh, yeah, nearly 4K difference there. Um, you just see her doing an absurd amount of damage. Yeah. When she and Kane got on MF there, her it was crazy. Was gone. half of her health. It's gone. It was insane. It was absolutely gone. That, um, that layer damage is absolutely absurd right now. The Kane just snowballed out of his mind. That being said, though, Karthus, he's dying a lot, but he's picking up these kills and fights, you know. He's popping his ultimate and just wiping the field. <laughs> So, you know, this game can still go either way. The gold, you know, 4K gold is a lot, but it's still, like, it's getting later into the game. It's going to become less relevant as the game progresses. <laughs> and Karthus is only going to get stronger. Absolutely. He's going to keep grabbing those Dark Harvest stacks. Yep. Technically unlimited scaling. That's right. That. Not too shabby. Unlimited scaling going the smite, exhaust, the aggressive, snowball, and Karthus build. I love to see that. Going for plays, but there's a play going on bot lane here. Kane, a thousand movement speed. Urgot is toast, man. That's four people. Sure. He cannot get out of here. He can't even get a consolation kill. He's going to run, though. He has his E. The turret is still alive. Can he get out? I don't think so. The damage is going to be absolutely too much. But he's surviving for this long. Maybe, just maybe, but no. Akali picks that one up. This is going to snowball. Not into the dragon. It's not on the map. But while that was happening, Baron Nasher has been slain. Wow. So, worth. you know, heads in their bets right there. You mass. They throw little Urgot down there. Like, yo, yo, look nice and juicy. Get up your butt down there. Distract him. Get him down there. We're going to take Baron while you do that. And that's exactly what they did. So UMass Amherst getting back into this one with a nice little Baron sneak. Very, very nice for them. I feel like that's kind of what they needed at the moment. At least deny Raw Reapers this huge push. Um, they're definitely in a defensive position at the moment. Still, they... <laughs> UMass still only has one tower at 27 minutes of the game. They definitely want a decent team fight here if that's possible. Um, get some of these guys down and grab some objectives that are not, you know, monsters. Um, really, they only have one dragon anyway, but they need to get some towers here. Like, push into this base, man. Yeah, I know. You want an inhibitor right now. Oh, man. I mean... They, don't, they do have the uh, Baron, but at the same time, you know, advantage is probably still in the court of... 
uh, Raw Reapers. They're very, very strong. The ultimate comes in. That's still a that's massive so amount. Much. That's Holy a good amount of burst. Keeping on a tank like Nautilus, you know, just getting that damage out there. Oh, she has that disc thing, too. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, the uh, the Axiom Arc, you know. Yeah. Get that Holy refresh. Shit. Going for, like, a hybrid lethality build. I really like that out of the Caitlyn. That seems, getting... like, way more fun than Yeah, than yeah, usual. you know, you get a ton of burst damage. Your combo is absolutely absurd. You get 100 to 0 squishies with that build. For real. It's really, really fun to play. But what's not fun is getting chased down. Oh, my God, the Karth is almost dead already. Just from a couple... Oh, my God, see, that's, that's what I'm talking so about. Stupid. It's too much. It's oh. absolutely too much, and this fight is too much for them to handle. It's going to be a complete wipe. The card comes in. It's too little, too late, but Morgana almost dies to it at the same time. The damage comes in, and it looks like Caitlyn will fall to the Orianna. This fight, not quite over, but it is definitely going to the side wow. of War Reapers. The Baron Recall will save Nautilus, but at what cost? Your whole team falls. One Baron is alive. And it That's is almost soul. curtains for you, Mass. Absolutely. Uh, Raw Reefer is picking up Infernal Soul here with a triple Infernal Stack. So they're going a little Not crazy great. here. Um, about to be doing even more damage. Yeah, that Infernal, uh, Infernal Dragon is absolutely no joke. At this point in the game, man... Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's that's not good news for you, Mass. Um, Slothic in the chat. I teach inorganic chemistry. Go you, Mass. That's right. That's right, baby. Yo, everyone, sign up for Professor Reese's class at you, Mass. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Orn was doing there, but he goes down. Uh, maybe he thought no one was around, but he, yeah, he's maybe. dead now, so it doesn't matter. Guy still sub 10k gold only. Yeah, guy it's in a the game it's a tough situation, supports. man. It's okay, he's sure. getting there. But the snowball is there, you know. That the cane just has all the gold right now, just an absolute unit right there, assassinating people left and right. And the Caitlyn with the hybrid lethality build, gone. It is so nasty you know, for real. If you hit a trap, tra see ya, gold. see you later. You're, You're dead, dead for sure. You're dead. You know, headshot, trap, net. Headshot, boom, gone. He's Everyone done. except Nautilus, maybe. I mean, she she can kill all of them if, if they're caught. Pretty up. much, like you know. Track, yeah, it's yeah. just it's just insane, you know. It, she's basically hitting everyone for true damage, has the lethality. No one's really stacking armor. I, it's just, and you know, and, and on top of that, you have Infernal Drake, so you're gonna get that extra little burst of damage mm -hmm. coming over. Mm -hmm. The ultimate comes through. Oh bro, my bro, God, bro, MF, bro, please! Bro, bro. And look at that. What is that? It's just too much. Oh and then the God. auto attack on oh top of it. God. They might pick up a constellation kill onto the cane, but no, the spell shield is enough to survive. Nautilus trying to pick something up, but those auto attacks from Caitlyn are no joke. The crit's Holy coming fuck. in. Huge damage. Gonna be threatening them off this tower, and Caitlyn is just an absolute unit right now, deleting people from the rift. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Your whole health bar is gone off after one Kate ult. It's already it's already back up. Yeah. It's done. She just used it again. Look at look at it. I know. Look at the cooldown on it. It's crazy. Look at it. It's just, it's already halfway back. Oh, Holy yeah, shit, man. You build a little CDR. You get an Axiom mark. You get some kills. Oh, it's over. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of over, I think Kane's over here. This is more than he wanted. But he, he just has infinite dashes. He has no cooldowns. It doesn't matter. Right back over the wall. Kane looking for more. Uh, Akali bit off more than she could chew. That was a little bit too aggressive, but... Is it going to matter? They're so far ahead. The Caitlyn's just free hitting. But here comes Karthus. She'll Karthus. Ult the Urgot. Or that guy. Karthus getting a huge amount of damage down. Gonna have to run for their lives. They're getting out of there. Aww. Morgana will fall. Karthus falls, but he, he's still dealing out the damage. Everyone going to recall. Maybe they get this inhibitor, though. They're gonna walk up. But oh! a huge shutdown. Kane get over 650 gold through Morgana. Oh and my God. Urgot ult lands as well. Another kill given over. And this yoink. game is far from over. Wow, some serious work going in there. Honestly, oh, another Kalen ult. Bye. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's just insane, up, man. Honestly. It's just insane. What are you supposed to do? Yo, can I see the items back on the screen? I want to see what Caitlyn's got cooking. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, oh gonna, wow. Hey, oh, wow. Both. They're both dead. They're oh, both dead. Wow. That's auto attack. Those are not Gone. even headshots, bro. Gone, dude. She only got the Lord Dom's finish, man. She's not even that full crit. Holy Man, fuck. dude, I'm about to fucking bomb it. Ain't got nothing to do with the game. <laughs> In game, by the way. Damn. Uh, I think Akali's dead here. Um, she'll just. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow. Man, Akali is on. Karth has got herded. Hey, hey, no. Kind of a waste she ain't of know her the streets, requiem. Man. She ain't know the streets. 
Um, well, maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know how put the cooldown like that. Dude, just pack it things. up, dude. Pack it up. Jesus. I mean, Kate, you're doing some crazy damage. I definitely want to see the charts. Yeah. Oh, this one. I want to see the charts, too. Um, Kate's pushing maybe 30k damage to champions. I mean, every you ult, actually you're doing see, about I just want to see Caitlyn's right ass on the screen right now. <laughs> How about that? Because <laughs> that's where all the damage is. It's in the cake, man. It's always been in the cake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. All right, oh. Baron. Being taken, Caitlyn kills that in three <laughs> auto attacks. Shit. You know how she is. Clapping oh, Baron like she's clapping the cheeks on the rift. She is just a unit right now. Full build, just deleting people on the map. CDR is out of control. Ultimate, bye. Whoever that just got shot, done. Holy the Kane trying to hunt down whoever got hit. Not going to be enough. They're pushing down mid. They already got that, but they don't have the inhibitor. Here they come. Well, they're trying. flashy. They're trying to end this one fast. The Caitlyn, as strong as she is going to be right now, taking this inhibitor. The MFO is actually pretty big. The damage is there. The CC is there. The Orn is going to fall, almost certainly. And that's picking that one up. They'd be like, oh. I'll take it you. But goodbye. The Caitlyn picks that one up. A double kill for the MFO. This fight is going both ways. But it looks like holy Caitlyn fuck, is just too holy strong. Fuck, just holy destroying shit. the Urgot. Fighting at range, and that is going to be the game. War Reaper's gonna be taking this one over you, Mass. Caitlyn is a god, dude. An absolute god. Destroying the rifts by herself, solo carrying. Gonna push this one in. They have the Baron, they have the minions. Two inhibitors down, and that is gonna be War Reaper. You know, Caitlyn, two shots of tower. That's fine. That's, that's crazy. That's cool. that's cool. This build is really cool. Play that's, this in solo queue. I mean, that's why I kind of think kate should be like kate should do that you got you know? a whole sniper rifle you should be shooting some huge Man, damage you know, shots that shit's crazy that was like a great Hikaku. game that was an absolutely great game you know that game's going back forth back forth and all of a sudden caitlin started two-shotting people what out of happened? nowhere what was that that hybrid build man that Jesus is some Christ. juicy stuff right For there. Real, you have the insane. DPS, you have the auto attack damage, you have the burst, man. It's got everything you need, and you just eradicate people. Doing some serious work between Caitlyn, Kane, or a little bit behind. Doesn't matter. He can engage a fight. That's all he needs to do. The Morgana pretty clutch as well. Can deny a lot of that. Engage, and you know, it's a great game. Great game all around. Rari for taking that one, taking one off of UMass. The home team, a little sad to see UMass Amherst fall, you know, being like 20 minutes away from UMass, you know. They'll get there, you know, they'll get they'll there. They'll get time. there. Like that guy said, I forget his name. Uh, yeah, Marvel. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he yeah, He said yeah. Uh, they are a new team. They are working on the chemistry. Um, that's a very nice story, you know. Yeah, it's a very nice I like nice to story. hear that. Um, tonight was not your night, Raw Reaper. Whoa, mainly hold on, hold on. I got I to gotta stop right here. We got, okay. a little, we got an interview coming. And what? yes, we got an interview with Hikaku. Oh, my God. The 80 carry from Raw Reapers, a.k.a. the Caitlyn. We got him right now. We got him right now on the horn. Yo, what's up? Yo, how oh are you doing? Oh, my God, the trombone so, himself. How does it feel to two-shot everyone on the map? How's that feeling for you? Uh, that game was rather boring. I was expecting more of a fight back. But after the Axie March came in, they just stopped doing anything. They were just dead bodies yeah. laying around. That's pretty accurate. You know, the, the hybrid lethality build, man, you were just killing everything on the rift right there. Um, hey, You know, you say there wasn't a fight back. That game was pretty back and forth for a while. I look at the gold. You guys are pretty close mo the majority of the game. But as you said, once you got that Axie mark, it seemed pretty much over. Yeah, I, I unfortunately didn't get experience the struggle back. Sat there, got my plates, got my CS, got Axie mark, solo killed MF a few times, and then just took over the game. Even Carcass didn't even do close as much damage as I did. Legit. Yeah. Actually... I know that's like the battle of like one shot ultimates Karthus versus Caitlyn it looks like you came out on top you know early game though uh, 6, UMass damage. definitely did have a decent amount of advantage like they had some plays or getting themselves into the game how do you know like to stay into the game and to keep yourselves into it knowing that you have the scaling knowing you have the Caitlyn damage coming in uh, all we know is we had five plates we're the second place team and we're playing on just completely running over this league now they're starting junglers here that's right that's right that's a good point yeah that cane was everywhere on the map just uh running running it for the team Jeez, man. 
Anything to add, Josh? He had 56,000 damage this game. 56,000. 56, that's pretty the good. The next highest is Karthus, which makes sense at 45k. Uh, 56 is ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Um, or did you, you know, is this just like the build that people are doing for Caitlyn right now? Or is it something you, you know, kind of Absolutely consider? Absolutely no idea. I just sort of like saw people doing lethality and I was like, I prefer crit. So I just sort of like did a hybrid thing because I was sort of bored after game one. But it sort of worked out. No, so it, I, think it, it. Oh I think God. it worked great. I it's like it. you I have the, the DPS, build. you have the lethality burst. It's like just enough of both worlds. Fantastic. You get the ridiculous crit headshots plus lethality. I think you're on to something. You might be making I think it was a new hitting meta. A headshot for 3,800 on the minions there. It, it was ridiculous. disgusting. It was You were literally two shotting people. Like people that were. Yeah, my ult was reading at 2,800 for the ulti oh. shots. And I'm going, I'm going to really puke really on Cam if he's saying those yeah. numbers, man. That is <laughs> wild. But great job on the hard carry. We love seeing the confidence. Keep it up. Raw Reapers, here to stay, here to dominate. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, it's unfortunate you guys didn't get to see game one. It was even bigger stomp. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I bet. Keep it up, Ikaku. Stay real on the rift. Peace. Bye-bye. That was him. The that, Caitlyn monster. That is what I want to hear from a Caitlyn main right there. You know, getting that big damage off, one-shotting everyone on the rift, and coming in with that swag, that confidence. Yeah, I know what I did. I, I mean, know what I did. You know, that game... Easy stomp city. The game before that, even bigger stomp. Should have streamed both of my games. Is what he's telling us. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see more from Raw Reapers. I know Raw uh, Reapers becoming the team you want to watch. That was an exciting game. It was seriously so exciting, so high octane. But unfortunately, that's all we got for today. That is it. Two that's games it. a night nowadays. Every week here on Two the SLS. Two games a night, but I gotta say the quality is up there. These oh, games up there. are interesting. They're competitive, and you know what? You're gonna have to tune in next week to see even better games. Oh yeah. We, we got them here every Thursday. You got worlds going on. Maybe you don't want to stay up till midnight to watch the games. That's don't garbage. worry. Don't, watch don't worry. Seven p.m. EST every Thursday. You turn on the SLS. We're here. We're ready for you, and we got the action. So. Just get ready, sit tight, and come back here next week because we'll be here. We'll be waiting. Can't wait to see you there. Goodbye.